Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so on the last episode of the quiz, we had our lowest score from the Rugby League Guru, who let me down a little bit uh, based off of his name, the Rugby League Guru. Um, admittedly, though, he had to be quizzed on NRL history, not just certain clubs. He got a 5 out of 10 still, though, 50%. But I'm joined here today by former Lee Centurion and Toronto Wolfpack player, Blake Wallace, who will be definitely looking to do better than a 5 out of 10. How are you today, Blake? Yeah, good mate. Yourself? Yeah, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. How do you uh, how do you rate yourself in terms of the the rugby league knowledge, the rugby league history? Not necessarily Toronto and Lee. Are, are you a bit of a rugby league buff? Where do you? Oh, I don't know about that. I um, yeah, I'm probably going to fluke my way through this, but you know, hopefully, I can put up a respectable score. I see Joe Hitchcock there got seven out of ten. So if I could beat him, I'll uh, that'd be nice. Well, if you beat him. You're first on the leaderboard. And as I said to the rugby league guru last time, right, I've had NRL players now. I've had Super League players. I've had the head coach of Uruguay Rugby League. I've had a USA international and someone who's called themselves the rugby league guru. So if you win this quiz, if you take the lead, it's pretty much you are the smartest person in rugby league in the world. <laughs> it, it, yeah. No pressure, but that that's pretty hey, much. I haven't seen my schooling background, so it, um, yeah, I don't know how we'll go here, but it'll be interesting. Well, anyway, if you're ready to go, we might as well get stuck into it and see how you do. Let's do it. That's All great. Right. First question, uh, I should say for the audience out there, the first five questions will be on the Toronto Wolfpack, then we'll get into the Lee Centurion questions. First question, which team have the Wolfpack beaten more than any other? So you played at the Wolfpack for their whole <laughs> district, so oh, which teams maybe put into the sword a bit more than the rest. Which team did Wolfpack be more? Any other? I don't know. I'll tell you this. Um, you beat them six times and never lost. Six? Six times he beat them, never lost. I think there might have been a draw in there, though. A draw. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't even know. We played the same team six times. Jeez. It'd have to have been when we were in championship. Um, yeah. Do I have a time limit on when I've got to answer this question? Boy? <laughs> Can I find a friend? <laughs> um, I, I'll try to help you out as best I can. I don't know. I don't really know how to help you too much on this question in particular, but I, I take it you probably would have played them, I'd say, in a in a Challenge Cup game or two as well, right? Like, it, it wouldn't... Oh, no, yeah, right. I, yeah. Uh, no. uh, Barrow, Barrow Raiders. How'd you get it from that? You got it. You won from one. Yeah, so just because, like, we... Yeah, we when we played them through the first year, we played them a couple of times in League One. Then we got promoted to championship. They got promoted to championship right. too. So yeah, I yeah, I just I just threw it out there. I, I was nearly going to say Lee Centurions, but then yeah, yeah. Barrow makes um, sense. It's a good way to think about it. And yeah, Barrow, uh, you guys beat him six times, and I'm pretty sure there was a draw in there too. So I, I think you guys. Yeah, were... I think we drew. We drew with them at Barrow in 2018. I think it was. So yeah, it was a cold yeah. old game. This one might be a little – well, it actually might be the easiest question coming up if you remember it off the, like off the, off by heart. But if not, you might struggle with it a bit. The Wolfpack have scored at least 80 points against two teams. Can you name the teams? Now, if you get one out of two, you only get 0. 0.5 of a point. Okay. Um, I'm going to say North Wales Crusaders is one. Correct. Um, just trying to see. Doncaster is that the other one? Yeah, correct. You got them both. Yeah, there we go. Two from two. Two from two. It, it's almost as if you you played in these games or something. I don't know. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> making it a bit easy on me. Who was the Wolfpack's first ever Super League opponent? You should get this. Castlewood. Yeah, correct. Correct. The, these Wolfpack ones, hey, I, I'm, I'm, I tried to make them as hard as I could, but people are going to realize this man played 
the the duration pretty much. I was there from start to finish. There from start to finish. It's hard to hard to trick you. Okay. Who has the second most appearances for the Wolfpack all time? <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm going to say myself or Liam K. It's you. It's you. If, if I'd known you would have got those first three questions so easily, I wouldn't have put you as an answer to one of them, but there we go. The only reason I say that is because I know Adam Sidlow. I think he's the most capped. Correct. I think he yeah. played the most games. I'm not even too sure how many games I played for him, to be honest. He, they've got they got you down for 74. So there you go. Okay. I, I was thinking of maybe, and maybe I should have gone, and I forget who it was, but the third. So maybe you thought I was talking about you, but you're actually the second. I don't know. Maybe well, you, you've got this one in the end. So we're looking for five from five in the Wolf Pack questions. This is the best start we've had to a quiz ever, by the way. Who has scored the most tries in Wolfpack history? Liam K. Correct. Liam K. So <laughs> five from five so far. We're on to the Lee Centurions questions now, and I should just let the audience know we're talking about Super League era history here. Now, it's not necessarily Super League records for Lee, but this all took place during the Super League era because I don't necessarily feel like going back to 1895, and I'm sure Blake would not like to be asked questions about 1895 either. So the first Lee Centurions question is, when were Lee last in a final? So this could be any, it's not necessarily a Challenge Cup, top flight, whatever. It's just the last time they were in a final. Which year? As in like any kind of final. Any kind of final. Gee, not, like well, a, not like a pre-season tournament, though, but like mm. any final. So, just trying to think. Give me a minute here because I'm just trying to yeah. retrace. Um, Would the million pound game count as a final? Yes. Or actually Because I know they I know they got beat by Catalans in in a million pound game and they got so they got relegated down to in twenty seventeen that was. Right, but it, it, But if I'm, that's not what you're looking for, then uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, then I'll say 2016. You're incorrect, but it's also not that 2017 million pound game. It was in 2018, the championship shield final. They lost to Fev, uh, Feverston Rovers. Oh, so they I, had that shield thing. Yeah, right. Oh. It's a bit weird. Yeah, I don't okay. feel myself, but in the record books, on lease insurance website, that's the last final they've been in. So 2018, first question incorrect, but you, you've already tied the lowest score. So we're pretty much, uh, we're, we're breezing through here. Okay. What is the the record? So I've had a absolute shocker there. What is the record attendance at the Lee Sports Village to the nearest thousand? So, yeah, you got to get it to the nearest thousand. So I'll accept a, a whole thousand number. Or if you want to have a crack at it, you can go for the exact number. But what is the nearest thousand for the record attendance at the Lee Sports Village? Mm. 8,000? Incorrect. You're selling them a bit short here. It's... The record attendance was 10,556 against Batley in 2016. So it, it was close here because if you'd guessed 10,000, you would have been wrong because it, it would have been 11,000, but it's 10,556. So it would have been very close. But again, only sort of, only sort of a couple thousand off. So that's all right there. You've got the last two wrong, but you've been within the realm. Oh, I'm uh, struggling here. The realm, if you get it. So... 
that's that's what we've been trying to do here on the quiz. It's even if you get it wrong, you get a bit of respect if you're still in the realm of possibility. But before 2021, when were Lee last in Super League? 2017. Correct. We're back into it. There we go. We're back. So far. So now you're at least tied second last. So here we go. This is big, I've just realised, because if you get the last two, you're now on our new leader, and we've not had an outright leader since the the second quiz, I think it was, yeah, with Griffin Name from the Cowboys. So there we go. But who has scored in the most consecutive club games for Lee? It's got to be Ryan Briley, surely. He scores a 1,000 drives. You're incorrect, and... You're going to hit yourself for this one because it's Liam K. Scored in nine consecutive games in 2015. Of course, he's already been the answer to a question. You played with him. Yeah, it's Liam K. Unfortunately, Mm. we can still tie first. You can still go joint on the leaderboard. And at least, well, you won't have any bragging rights over, as you said, Jai Hitchcock, but you'll you'll at least be on his level. (laughs) And, and of course, this is a perfect question, I think, to wrap things up. In which round did Lee last verse Toronto in a league match? So the year was obviously 2019. So I'm not going to ask you for the year, but which round? I know it, I know it was one of the last games of the season. Um, <laughs> we played them in Toronto. I don't even know how many rounds we had that season. All right. If you're unsure about the amount of rounds you guys had that season, do you want a hint? I'm willing to give you a hint because you've been so good so far. Right, eh? I'll I'll take it. It was in the last round. Yeah, I figured figured because we played them in Toronto. Yeah. So, So if you can figure out... How many rounds there were that season, then you're golden. Uh, I want to say 20, like... twenty-six. Final answer? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. The answer to in which round did Lee last versus Toronto in a league match? Round 27, 2019. <laughs> You're kidding. One round, one round off. So that leaves us with a final score, six out of 10 you got the first five that is terrible that is, that's not that, that's not good but that's still you're still not last you're still sort of technically you're one point behind first still so but yes yeah, six out of ten but you had the the best starting streak of anyone in quiz history started uh, strong but then the wheels fell off that's it. But you know what? You, you spoke about Jai Hitchcock's before. I'm pretty sure he had a really strong middle. I think he got something like four in a row, but I feel like your start sort of beat his his middle. So uh, you've done well there. But six out of 10, still a respectable effort. Look, let's see. Still the, passed. And, and you got, you know what? The Toronto fans will love it because you got all the Toronto questions correct. However, when were Lee last in a final? You guessed 2016. It was 2018. Only two years off. That's fine. Uh, the record attendance at the Lee Sports Village, uh, it was 10,500. I'd, I'd, debate, I'd debate that final too because it was like a – wasn't even like the main final for the league. So I'd debate yeah. that. But Hey. <laughs> take, it up with the Lee, up. take it up with the Lee Centurions because that's official on their website. But, yeah, the record to the nearest thousand. Look, you're about 2,000 off, so that's fine there. That was an absolute stinker. Um, you got when Lee were last in Super League. Who has scored the most consecutive in the most consecutive club games? Yeah, I felt me there. Well, I felt like that was one you would have got, <laughs> especially oh, to be. No, I just I know 
Kez has scored a thousand tries at the club, yeah. so I could if I if I had got that wrong, he, I would never have heard the end of it from him. So, and also in, in which round did Lee last versus Toronto in a league match? You were one off, and I mean, I think most years, at least in the NRL, they have twenty six rounds. You guess twenty six, so it's definitely nothing that people can really complain about there but in at the end of the day six out of ten again i don't think we've had an absolute stinker of a quiz so far and you've kept that uh that train rolling a respectable effort even the question hey, at least at least saying on the bottom of that of that list so i'll take it hey is that a bit of a jab at the rugby league guru because i believe you've been <laughs> on this podcast before so i know yeah. you know <laughs> yeah i know i know the guru he's a good he's a good fella so he's a good guy I've enjoyed, and to be fair, i've enjoyed chatting with him Oh yeah. To be fair to the guru, though, he was quizzed on NRL history in general. Yeah, I guarantee if I yeah, there's no way I'd have that much knowledge. However, he like you went into the quiz blind, which only a couple of people have done, and I think the rest have. And under we don't try to keep it a secret. You send the questions beforehand, and if they want to, if they want to research, they do. Some do, some do, some don't. But. You and the guru both went in blind. If both of you had maybe decided to take the chance to do a little bit of research, the way you both went, you'd be—I think you'd be one and two. Hey, that's all I'm saying. But it is what it is. Six out of ten. See, that's just that's just the competitive side coming out in me, just not wanting to know beforehand. Hey, you know what? I think you should definitely be proud of your effort, Blake Wallace. Thank you once yeah, again. I appreciate it, brother. Thanks for having me on. Uh, it's been an absolute pr pleasure and I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in as well.